Hey there, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising. It's time to have a look and see what's going on when it comes to your weekly astrology and tarot, the weather and traffic for your week starting April 1st, 2024. Now on the 1st, we've got Mercury turning retrograde in Aries. You probably remember me talking about this in your monthly astrology forecasts for April as well. And from the 1st through the 25th, we've got a big focus of revisions, reversals, redirects, but even the potential for reconnects and retrievals going on in your house of love, romance, recreation, and parenthood. When we have Mercury retrograde here, there can sometimes be, of course, the typical Mercury retrograde headaches and inconveniences and confusion that come up. But we are also getting a chance to reconnect with old paths, ideals, and opportunities that maybe we have strayed away from in terms of maybe a relationship priority, uh, an old aspect of a connection we have with our kids, or maybe even something relating to a personal enterprise or creative project that we lost touch with. And so always focus on the bigger picture when it comes to Mercury retrograde, because revisions, reversals, and redirects can be quite advantageous. On the 6th, we've got Venus in Aries forming a beautiful sextile to Pluto in Aquarius which is all about sealing deals. And there is likely going to be some kind of important collaboration or maybe even uh, a union going on on or around this day, whether it's getting proposed in conversation or it kind of just develops where you are getting a chance to bring more support on deck for an important plan or ideal that you have for either your love life, a creative pursuit, a personal enterprise, or your relationships with your kids. This could be pulling them closer to you, or this could be something coming from a friend or an ally. So that is what we've got for your astrology and the weather. Let's go on ahead and see what's going on with the tarot and the traffic. Okay, Sagittarius, time to see what's going on when it comes to your weekly tarot traffic. And so just so you know ahead of time, I'm actually going to be going back to the old five card spread that I used to do for those of you who remember. Still, of course, focusing on practical predictions. I was just a little bit uh, not feeling the potential for information overload uh, with the uh, more card uh, thing that we've been doing just because I was like, well, I'm not really here to just kind of give you something to listen to. I want something actionable. And so uh, if you can't remember it, what's the point? So we're going to go back to that. But don't worry, like I said, it will be thorough. So let's charge up these cards and see what that forecast is. All right, so the theme of the week, the spiritual theme of the week, what the week's all about, money, and as well as work, practical matters, home and family, communications, contacts, friends and relatives here as well, challenges of the week, and love and romance, partnerships. Okay, so... The theme of the week, or the uh, what the week's all about, we've got the Three of Swords reversed. This is going to be a week about solving a lot of problems, about reversing things that have maybe already occurred, that are leaving a mark, that have left a mark, either on us or our world, things that kind of, you know, we just haven't quite been able to overcome. The Three of Swords reversed is about confronting the cause and the core of issues that persist in our life and doing something about them. When this card shows up, your best course of action is to lean in. This is going to be a week of solutions, not just living with 
issues. This is going to be a week of permanent fixes, permanent reversals. But you may encounter situations where people might not necessarily be interested in having permanent fixes or solving challenges, right? Some people, um, they're kind of the types of people to just sort of, you know, carry on and vent or dump or whatever, whenever they need to, but not do anything about what's going on around them. And you don't want to fall into situations where you let those kinds of philosophies and attitudes and ways um, cramp your style, because this is going to be a week where a lot of you are going to be in much better shape for the solutions that come forward. For your finances, practical affairs, work, and even home life, you've got the Page of Wands upright. Really good news as far as an invitation that is going to come your way. This could come in the form of a suggestion, somebody pointing you down a new road, welcoming you into a new space, or maybe asking you to take on something special. This is going to speed up growth somewhere in your professional life, or maybe speed up your opportunity to accumulate wealth. With the Page of Wands, you're feeling very popular. You're getting a chance to kind of go on a lot of new adventures. And uh, you want to make sure that you make the time to consider this, uh, because this proposal, this offer, whatever it is, is a good one. For your friends, relatives, community, you've got the sun upright. And it looks like an important relationship or a connection with somebody that you care about, that you respect, is going to be getting closer. The sun is all about fun, relaxation, bonding, uh, recharging, getting stronger glue into our connection, so to speak. And with the sun, this could be something that is helping to simplify or um, bring some harmony into a space or a connection that does matter a lot to you but has been challenged in some way. This is, however, also going to be eliminating some problems from either the connection or the situation, whether we knew those were problems or not. And sometimes that can ruffle some feathers around people involved in the situation, because the sun is also a card that does burn away clouds, burn away shadows, burn away negativity. And so while this is good, very, very good, you might want to just, you know, Pay close attention to what comes up, what might be having a bad reaction to good things, what might be having a bad reaction to improvements, and, um, you know, not allow that to color your judgment of the situation. For your challenge this week, you've got the Nine of Pentacles reversed. Be careful of unhelpful attachments. Be careful about unhealthy attachments, uh, as well as commitments or entwinings that seem to always get in the way of progress. The Nine of Pentacles reversed can ask us to take a good hard look and see who are we letting have a say in our world? Who are we joining forces with? Who have we joined forces with or made commitments with? Or who are we carrying on our backs? Or, you know, who is um, having a say where they shouldn't have a say? We might want to take a step back from, you know, maybe working with the roster of a lot of our teams and a lot of the people in our world and rearrange that accordingly. Your best course of action here is pay attention to who seems to not let you have nice things. For your relationships with love and partnerships, you've got the Hierophant reversed. And the Hierophant reversed is a break from tradition. It's a break from the normal. It's a break from convention um, and something that could be bringing in a new spice of life. Now, for those of you who are coupled or are married, this could be something that you and a partner are doing to shake up your world in your private time, as well as maybe in your social life. This could also indicate a departure from maybe some kind of rule, convention, or agreement that we made in the past that has been slowing our progress or has taken us down a road we don't want to be on, right? We've just kind of like turned around and be like, we don't even belong here. What are we doing here? Why are we doing it this way? Oh, it's because of the, and with the Hierophant reverse, there's this sort of collapsing of that, the release of that. And again, bringing in that freedom and that new spice for you and your partner. 
For those of you who are single or available to new people, this is going to be a week where you're getting a chance to try a relationship style, a relationship dynamic or arrangement on for size that is maybe different than what you are used to in terms of your own relationship history or maybe something that deviates from what you've witnessed uh, other people do, you know, among friends, family, the past, things like that. But it is something that is also going to be um, quite tantalizing to you as well. So that is what I've got for you all. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And should you ever wish to get a session with me, you can go on ahead to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com.